our guests, um, parents, grandparents, uh, friends. Um, we have a couple of great things happening this morning. Um, first of all, um, we want to start off with uh, telling you that March is week in our schools month. And one of the things that we like to do with Peter and I is, um, last year he did all the brass um, ensembles, um, kind of opening up the assemblies. So I decided to take this year, and I have some woodwind players that are going to be uh, performing um, the opening of the assemblies this year. So um, Elena um, just uh, decided that she wanted to do a duet with me to open up the show. So what we're going to do for you uh, before we get into the sixth grade assembly is we're going to play a couple of short um, Bach chorales for you. Um, done as food duets. Hope you enjoy it. Homework by Jane Yolen. 
What is it about homework that makes me want to write? My great aunt writes to thank her for the sweater that's too tight. What is it about homework that makes me pick up socks that stink from days and days of wear then clean the litter box? <laughs> what, is, what is it about homework that makes me volunteer to take the garbage out before the bugs and flies appear? <laughs> homework that makes me wash my hair and spend an hour combing out the snags and tangles there. What is it about homework? homework? You know I wish I knew. Because nights that I've got homework, I've got much too much to do. This next poem is um, sorry. This next poem is A Walk this is A Walk in the Woods in the Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. This will be performed by Leanne, Rebecca, and a special thanks for, to Bridget filling in to, for Amanda. Poison Tester by Shel Silverstein. I am Poison Tester too, and I'm here to taste your food for you, because you could die in half a minute if there's a drop of poison in it. That lemonade, to quench your thirst, you better let me taste it first. Mm, it's okay, but those poison berries, I'd better make sure they're not poison berries. Mm, no, but that burger might be deadly. Mm, no, it's okay. But let me taste your hot fudge sundae. Let's hope I'm not dead by Sunday. Mm, no, it's fine. But the poison could be in the very last bite, so leave it for me. Well, it's all safe, and my job is through. See how I risk my life for you? <laughs> <laughs> by my house all day. Half clap my hands at him from the door when it seemed as if I could bear no more. The fault must partly have been in me. The bird was not to blame for his key. And, and of course, course there must be something wrong in wanting to silence any song. And our next presentation is After a Hundred Years by Emily Dickinson. The performers are Susmita, O'Creedy, and Heidi. <coughs> Weeds triumphant raged, strangers stolen and spelled, 
at the Lord our Sography of the elder dead. When the summer fields we coached the way, instinct picking up the key dropped by memory. The next poem is Making Jump Shots by Michael S. Harper. Please welcome to the stage Jeffrey, Dylan, James, Ryan, and Tom. by Lewis Carroll. It will be presented by Saket, Francisco, Paul, and Matt filling in for Michael. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Was brilliant and the slidey toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogroves and the mome rats outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird, and shun the frumiest bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword at hand, long time the manxome folk he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree, stood a while, and thought. As in uppish thought he stood, the jabberwock, with eyes of flame, came whipping through the tall yew wood, and burbling as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker-snack, left it dead, and with its head, came to lumping back. Hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. What frab should stay? Kaloo, Kalei! He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig and the slidey toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. A mimsy were the borogroves and the mome rats outgrave. And now for Hope is a Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. Born by Hannah, Alana, and Emma. Hope is a thing with feathers by Emily Dickinson. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings it to itself the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm that could have asked the little bird that kept so many warm. I heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity asked a crumb of me. Next step to perform will be I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, performed by Danny DePriel, Lauren Jackson, Nikki Kim, Olivia Shu, and Rachel Girl. The cage bird sings by Maya Angela. The bee bird leaps on the back of the wind and flows downstream to the current ends and dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on a distant hill for the cage bird sings of freedom. The free bird sings of another breeze, and the trade wind soft through the sighing trees. And the fat worm is waiting on a dumb bright lawn, and he names the sky his own. The cage bird stands on a grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare stream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The 
The cage bird sings a fearful trill of things unknown but long for still. And its tune is heard on a distant hill for the cage bird sings of freedom. <laughs> So next up is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Please welcome Jason, Will, Donnie, Matt, and Sean. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not have traveled both. Be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, as for that, the passing there be worn, they're really about the same. And both that morning, equally late, in leaves no steps had trodden black, though I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I ever should go back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one which traveled by. And that and has made, made all the difference. difference. Next up, we have Fun But Not by Ariane Moshnowski. It's performed by Talon, Angie, Emma, and Emma. It's funny how hello is always accompanied with goodbye. It's funny how good memories can make you start to cry. It's funny how forever never seems to last. It's funny how much you lose if you forgot about your past. It's funny how friends can just leave when you are down. It's funny how when you need someone, they are never around. It's funny how people change and they think they're so much better. It's funny how many lies are packed into a single love letter. It's funny how one night can contain so much regret. It's funny how you can forgive but not forget. It's funny how ironic life turns out to be. But the funniest part of all is none of that's funny to me. <laughs> Next up is Gerbil Gerbil on the Run by Ken Nesbitt. Please welcome Josh, Justin, John, Ayush, and Isaac.
title of our program is um, where we recognize some of our middle school students. So I'd like to introduce by starting um, with grade five. She greets her friends, she's got a positive attitude, she shares funny stories with her friends to get ready, she's got all of her things ready for the day, and she just starts off the day on the right foot. Um, she's responsible, she always gets her work done on time, and makes sure she puts forth her best effort all the time. She needs extra help, she seeks it again, out again with a smile on her face. Um, Lauren acts like everything we learn is the most exciting thing she's ever heard of, even if I know it's not. Um, if you're having a tough day, you can just stand near Lauren and her positive energy and laughter is sure to rub off on you. Lauren is kind, caring, and energetic, and I'm so lucky to have her in my class. Thank you. And then we have Zach. Come on up. Um, Zach is the type of kid who gets along with everyone. Um, he has a kind word and includes everyone. He works hard and takes school seriously, but he always also has a great sense of humor. Whenever things are getting a little dry, you can count on Zach for a joke to give everyone a laugh and kind of lighten the mood. He works hard and does not give up easily. He always does his best. He's kind, caring, and a good friend. He's helpful to both his teachers and peers, and I hear this from teachers all throughout this school. Um, Zach identifies what needs to be done and just takes care of it. He's just an all-around good kid. We're lucky to have him in the fifth grade. to nominate Ashvika Bhupathi, so wherever you are, come on up. Um, let's be honest here, how many of you have made a mistake this week? Yeah. Raise your hand. Yeah. Well, I have decided to nominate Ashvika Bhupathi because A, she comes into my classroom every single day, she sits down, she gets right to work, she follows directions. But what's most important about Ashvika is that if she makes a mistake, she learns from it. And I think that's re a really important thing and a character trait to have. So I chose to nominate Ashvika because she displays the character trait of fortitude, which means that she never gives up and she keeps on trying until she gets it right. So congratulations, Ashvika. <laughs> And helps us to 
run smoothly the next morning as everybody arrives. Ian helps Mr. Duke and I so that we don't end up having to spend an extra 10 minutes after they leave doing all of that stuff at the end of the day. So it's really, they're in general just really great kids and great people and they show a lot of um, strong character by just pitching in and helping out. So thank you. Haley Dion and Kaylee DeSimone. If you could stand up, please. Ladies. 
Congratulations, ladies. Excellent work. Okay, and I would like to actually call Shraddha Iyer up, please, if she could come up to the front of the room. So I have some really exciting news for Shraddha. Um, Shraddha received first place at the Regional Science Fair. If we could go ahead and give her a round of applause. <laughs> On top of receiving first place at the Regional Science Fair, uh, Shraddha also received the Bristol County Community College Foundation Award. This is a $100 award for a project showing outstanding ingenuity and creativity. Round of applause again. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to also recognize Shraddha for uh, receiving a certificate of recognition. Um, it is the 2014 Broadcam Foundation Certificate of Rec Recognition. Um, for math, applied science, technology, and engineering for rising stars. She has received an invitation to complete an online application for a national competition. Congratulations to Shraddha. participated in this regional science fair competition and that was because of Mrs. Herlicek's initiative. She saw an opportunity that she wanted to give our students and we couldn't be more proud of all of our seventh graders and, and, and especially those who, uh, whose work stood out and placed in this competition. So thank you again to those students and congratulations. But thank you again to Ms. Herlicek. Assemblies are, are some of my favorite days of the year because I just love to hear and see some of the great things that you're learning in your classroom. Sixth grade, great job today. We love to hear about the great things that you're doing and how you're treating each other and how you're helping out and make our, making our BFCCPS culture really positive and really wonderful. So congratulations to everyone who won a character award today. In the fifth and sixth grade hallway, as well as the seventh and eighth grade hallway, we, we, we have established those bulletin boards where we're adding pictures of the winners for our character awards. And you all have an opportunity to recognize each other by talking to your teachers about something nice you notice someone else, someone else doing. And they'll give you a little kite-shaped post-it note that you can put up on one of those bulletin boards so that everybody can see how not only we are recognizing you, but how you are recognizing each other. So those students who earned a character award today, Please stay just for another minute or two. You'll stand behind, or in front of rather, our Forest of Virtue uh, mural that some students painted several years ago. And we'll snap your picture before we send you back to class. Before we close up, I'd like to thank our fourth grade friends for joining us today. They heard you were doing poetry sixth grade and they couldn't, they couldn't resist. They wanted to see it. I'd like to thank our family and friends for coming out today for our special assembly. Everybody give everybody, each other one more round of applause.